hug this curb, I guess. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, people, you're doing here for another video. This video, guys, is going to be in Farming Simulator 19, and we're going to be transporting a giant crawler crane. Now, that is a little bit hard to say. Uh, but yeah, so it's a Liberator Crawler Crane. Try saying that 10 times fast, honestly. Liberator Crawler, I, yeah, I literally can't do it. Um, yeah, but we're gonna be transporting this giant crane over to a construction site. Now, I'm not gonna give away exactly the reason why, um, but what I will say is, since you guys can probably tell already, uh, this thing has a mount for our shipping containers, and the shipping containers are the ones right over there. These are the ones I'm talking about, right? So we can lift these up with a few different things. We have, um, you guys know, we have that equipment over there. If I zoom in a bit, uh, whoops, GS set FOV12. There we go. You see we have two pieces of equipment that can move that, one being the wheel loader. And I'm honestly not sure what the other one's called. Uh, but yeah, so both those work. And now we have a third piece of equipment. Now this is obviously special because it can raise up the crates uh, or the containers a lot higher than we're used to. So I'm really looking forward to it. We have some special plans and yeah, either way, we first got a washer truck. Uh, this is the same truck we used last video. So I'm using this power washer. Now you're supposed to use this power washer with uh, the trailer, which I believe is in this category. Yeah, this uh, pressure washer trailer, but I don't know. I, I just didn't buy it. So we're just going to use this as is. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but do note that they do come together. Anyways, here we go. Let's start cleaning this thing up. If it wants to clean, that is. Oh, um, is it is it not gonna clean? It it might not want to clean, or it might just have. Oh wait, there we go. We have to aim kind of low on it. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know why, but we gotta clean. So, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's turn this off, and we'll just throw it back down there. It might bounce a bit. Yeah, okay. Are you good? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll just, there we go. And yeah, we can now get moving. So, something I want to mention, guys, is that, <clears throat> uh, first off, I'm a little bit sick, so sorry if I sound sick at any time, but, uh, yeah, this trailer, it kind of fits. This is the widest trailer I could really find, or that I knew we had. Um, like, it's on here, but we do definitely need to watch, especially this back part, that's a little bit sketchy. Uh, we do have to watch around turns and like if we slam or brakes or whatever and you guys see it does bounce a little bit it does not strap down so that's why it's that's why it's acting like this <laughs> uh but yeah and then so this truck by the way i believe it's made by i think i got it on expendables modding i don't know if they made it or not but pretty sure i saw it over there uh in the facebook group but yeah it's it's pretty cool it has like this air pressure thing uh pretty much every time you use it brakes the air pressure goes or the air level goes down and then once it hits 50 percent it fills back up so i'm not, not i'm really not sure if you can actually get it below 50. i haven't been able to find out a way to do that maybe like <clears throat> i don't know if you're on like a big hill that might do it um honestly not quite sure but yeah if you, if you guys know how to get that air to go down lower or maybe you have some ideas uh let me know because I would love to see what happens if like it gets to zero do our brakes just stop working or or maybe it doesn't impact our vehicle at all like there is a good chance of that uh okay anyways we're gonna i know we like we have to turn there but what i want to do is go to our parking lot because uh technically there's a solid yellow line there it's actually two solid yellow lines so we're not supposed to really cross over that and i want to be a little bit realistic and follow that law let's turn around in here now there's something in here that you guys are going to be asking about so i'm just going to talk about it right away uh yeah so this you guys see this like little what what is it it's not really little actually but it's this little or i, I don't know why i keep saying little it is this oh oh okay hold up hold up hold up don't hit that are we good yeah okay that was a little bit sketchy um yeah whatever this thing is called i'm really not sure but yeah, if you guys know what it's called, let me know. But either way, uh, I got that on Mod Hub. It kind of works. I don't know. It's. I want to find a purpose for it, 
but it's a very basic mod honestly and it has a few issues with stability when you walk on the end platform so i'm not quite sure what we'll be able to use it for uh here actually i'll just quickly show you guys because like, that's a bit confusing pretty much you get in here and you're sitting in the back i would love if they would make it so you sit in the front because when you get out you do teleport to the front but you see right now it's leaning forward that's because i'm standing in the wrong spot if i move here it's good but if i move back <coughs> it starts falling and then if that's like extended out it does that but like times 10 so like 10 times faster it falls so it's a little bit weird i'm not really like trying to have that thing fall halfway through a video uh and also we have lots of other equipment that does the same kind of functions that just looks different right so for now i'm gonna say we're not gonna use that but that might change down the road either way um our load has definitely shifted a little if you guys can tell um that's a little bit sketchy. Can I actually just move this over? Let's just pick it up and move it a little. Uh, come on. Here we go. Is that good? That might be... Nope, now that's too far to the other side. Come on. It's right over here. That looks quite a bit better. The back might be a little... Yeah, the back's still a little bit messed up, but it should stay on. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, anyways, let's get moving here. I don't know I don't know why this has taken so long. It really shouldn't be. We aren't even on the highway yet. I just keep getting distracted. <laughs> and our air is actually down to 80% now. As you guys can see, it has gone down. Uh, by the way, it shows in the bottom right. Yeah, now it's like 73. Okay. Uh, let's go like this. Now this trailer is one that turns with us, so we might not actually have to take that wide of turns. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, you know what? That was that was solid. Okay. Anyways, before we continue, before we merge into traffic, here's a quick little message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beard Shot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay, guys. So, yeah, let's merge into traffic. Here we go. Actually, I guess there's no traffic. That's okay. Here we go. Oh, wait. we got to watch out for, like, signs. And we might run into an issue as well because isn't there, like, a bridge up ahead? We might need to go on top of the bridges in order to get by. Um, Yeah, I'm not actually sure about that. Okay, yeah, we gotta really keep an eye out. I might stay in this third-person view. Uh, usually we drive in first person, but... At least for this vehicle. But... Yeah, okay, that's definitely a bridge up ahead. And that road sign. Is that road sign just blocking both sides? Or we might be able to get by if we go in this lane. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be very, very challenging, guys. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do when it comes to, like, street lights, for example. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hug this curb, I guess. Okay. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're definitely not making it under that. Uh, so we'll go on the off-ramp and then maybe go back on, I guess. This is going to be very... I honestly somehow did not even think about all of this, like potential um like barriers i guess i really don't even know what to call it all these obstacles that's probably a better better way to put it <laughs> okay there we go now we did have some weird driving there if you guys realize our vehicle kind of shifted sideways i think the trailer's uh steering assist with the weight of this vehicle just it was too much for a vehicle to handle okay um how do how do, okay how am i supposed to fit under this sign we are definitely not fitting under this sign so we're gonna have to go off-roading yeah that's that is interesting oh no and there's there's a street sign or the street lights up ahead okay where are the street lights are they at the other side or are they at this side okay i think they're at the other side 
Oh, this is going to be really interesting, guys. Some are at this side, though, too. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, my. This, how do we have this many obstacles in one spot? Okay, here we go. Now, watch out for this other street light. Okay, we're good. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Guys, this is this is going to be crazy. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, now, I'm just thinking... First off, we can go through power lines, which is good, because we would have been completely clipped there. Probably would have knocked down the power lines, actually. I hope we can go through these ones, too. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, but there is another overhang up ahead, and I don't know how to get around it. Like, I'm not sure if we actually can. Yeah, right here, this Baker's Field one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to go straight here, but what we'll do instead is go off to the side, maybe? Well, we're definitely not going straight. So, let's try this. Go this way and see where this road leads us to, because... Yeah, honestly, I don't think we've ever taken this road. So, this might be kind of cool. We gotta see something new. There's, like, some construction over here. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, some falling down road signs already. I haven't even... Dri uh, like, driven by here yet? Who knocked those down? <laughs> Someone else in this game? That would be that would be funny. Actually, that would be a little bit scary. I don't know how they would be in the single player game. Let's hope no one else is here. <laughs> okay. Oh, and of course a car comes when we're at the corner. There we go. We're good. We're good. Any more obstacles? It doesn't seem like it. At least not in this stretch of land now if we were at the other side we would have all the street lights Ooh, i did not expect that car to turn probably yeah we need to give everyone else the right away like although they should probably give us it since we're such a big vehicle i i just i'm thinking i don't want to knock anyone out right <laughs> here we go yeah it should just be up ahead not too much further here we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I see the crane. Now, this is literally approaching the height of that crane. And this thing has tracks. Like, it can move. The crane can only pivot. It doesn't doesn't do any... Or, it can rotate. It can't even... It can't even pivot. <laughs> Here we go. Are you turning, or what are you doing? Of course. Yeah. There you go. At least they knew how to get by us. Sometimes vehicles just think we're in the way when we really aren't more power lines okay now these are the trees that have been a bit of a oh we're not fitting through that are we yeah oh oh that's a sign okay hold up oh that's okay 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 um how do i do this how are we supposed to get through that we might need to unload this or I have one more idea. If we drive around, we might just be able to fit. Actually, the crane arm is going to be... Oh, you know what we can do? If I hop in here, can't we rotate? There we go. That might help a little bit. And then we go like this. Yeah, then it's a bit more like aligned with our vehicle. Okay. Let's see if we're going to fit through here, guys. This is a little bit... A little bit risky, a little bit challenging. If we don't fit, then I'm not sure what to say. Um. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. I think we can fit. I just need to rotate this some more. We're going to have to constantly be rotating this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, there we go. And then can you straighten me out? Um. Okay, let's see what this does. Probably inch forward a little bit. Oh, that might be good. Oh, geez. Okay, the tracks are off to the side a bit now. This is just a mess, guys. If we get this in here, I'm going to be so impressed. There we go. Okay. Just like so, ever so slowly. Oh, okay. Luckily, the back doesn't have collision there because that would have been an issue like that was. Okay, here we go. Come on. 
It's a little bit further to go. Just a little bit further. Okay, and I think we're probably good now. Yeah, we look pretty good. Okay, what we'll do is... I want to make this turn. Yeah, that's all good. We're in the clear. And we'll just unload it right over here. Uh, yeah, okay. Just like this. Unfold. And take this thing off. This has been absolutely crazy. Guys, I honestly thought we were just going to be driving it over. And... I was wrong. There was there was a lot of obstacles, which honestly made the video like even better. So I can't really complain. Um, but yeah, okay, can we? I think we can go through this, right? There we go. I just want to bring this down below, and I think that's all I want to show you guys. So we'll we will end it here. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I also want to say, merchandise is now at teespring.com instead of represent.com. And you guys can use code NATION at checkout for 10% off all of the merchandise. So that's N-A-T-I-O-N. The discount code, again, 10% off until January uh, 8th, which is a Wednesday. So yeah, again, it's code NATION, N-A-T-I-O-N. O N for 10% off the merchandise links down below for the Teespring um, page. Anyways, have a good day. You guys are awesome. And I guess join the discord server if you want that links also down below. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.